Hi everyone, welcome back to Face to Face. This week I'm joined by Diane Na, who is a junior majoring in addiction studies and minoring in dance. So thank you so much for joining me today. Where are you from originally? I'm originally from Seoul, South Korea. And like what's the population there? How is it different from Vermilion? I usually, so I grew up in like city side. So, and Korea is not as big as America. So it's mostly like super convenient and like you can just go like go for grocery shopping like five to ten minutes away. That's the, I guess, that's the biggest part mm -hmm. to compare with here and back home. And most like the food is, yes, that's the biggest difference, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then what made you decide to come to USD? Uh, actually, my friends suggest me and my friends like I'm friends with him since like elementary school and he worked at international office in USD. And he gave all the information and international community around here, and that was pretty interesting because most biggest fear as like exchange student or like foreign international students, like for us, it's kind of hard to like see I can just stick around and like, get along with other people mm -hmm. as well. And especially I'll say like South Dakota that doesn't have much like diversity a mm -hmm. lot compared with LA. So I guess that was like biggest encouragement that like okay, I could survive in Vermilion. Yeah, <laughs> definitely I need yeah. to check the weather. <laughs> yeah. So, Do you think that the university does a good job like being inclusive to international and foreign exchange students? I'll say yes, because we have a lot of association and we have all like whole different like culture events in a ball ballroom, right? Yeah, in a ballroom. So we have a lot of experience that like we could hang out international, even though you don't know anybody from your high school or like middle school or from your town or something. And also there's a lot of like chances that we can experience about like other different culture that we have something that we can talking about. So I will say that way, USD did a pretty great job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, so like, what are some things that you think USD could do to help foreign exchange students like feel more at home and included? Like, is there anything you think they need to work on? That's a good question, but okay. So my personal experience, like, as, a, like, like, international students, like, we always hanging out, like, each other, and they're kind of, like, scared to go out, like, hanging out with the people, like, actually from, like, near here or something. And they also have a lot of, like, fear about, like, English as well. So if there's like certain activity that like we can just also get to get along with the people, it's like sorority, like like the if the goal is you knowing people and something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I will say like if there's a certain more like activity and chances that we can also like all campus are like hanging out, like together maybe I guess. Yeah. So you mean like and events that aren't exclusively for foreign exchange students, mm -hmm. just like more campus wide events that everyone can be a part of. Yeah, it could be like like delegate maybe, mm -hmm. but that's all what I can thinking about, you know? Mm -hmm. It's more like like events that you can just like, just make a friend and having a dinner. It's most of our events like international night or like, so for maybe like people who from here, they must think like, oh, I don't care about international night or something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm just, I don't know, it's, I'm just being honest, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's my no. answer, I don't know. No, that's yeah. fine. And then, so, when did you, like, start, did you learn English before coming here, or did you, like, when did when you I start, start learning? speak English. Yeah. So, I, I graduated high school in Korea, and I moved to abroad in 2000, since 2015, and I, it's like, for you guys, like, speaking Spanish, like, you learn from, like, your, like, like childhood, like elementary schools, whatever, but you never had a chance to speak it. Mm -hmm. So I, oh, English is kind of like for me, like like a Spanish for you guys. So I never had like chance to speak English or something like that. But after I moved, I think I trying to survive because I need to speak <laughs> English. To survive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so what is your favorite part about Vermilion and what do you miss most about home? Also, my favorite part in Vermilion is it's safe, honestly, because it's not a big city, which means we are all like college students who live around here. Mm -hmm. And also, it's a pretty small town, so I could see my friends like here and there. I don't feel like part of some sort of community. I feel like this is kind of like home, and I know like my neighbors, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. 
and I miss home. It's too like, what's the word? Like, limited. It's so limited to like what you can do in here. Mm-hmm. Like, it snows all the times, and you don't have much like, like something actual like big malls or like like we have a couple theaters, but like we don't have a big theaters or like game plays or something. In Korea, we have a lot of like. place to go out and hanging out that's like more like culture rather than just like sitting like a home party and stuff like that mm-hmm. so personally i just need to do something like going out and something rather than sliding in the snow <laughs> and that's all for tonight special thanks to diane for joining us and don't forget to follow us on all our social media pages